Today was a little bit different in our weekly schedule for Call of Duty because we actually didn't get an update today, or at least not yet. That's coming actually later tonight. But in the meantime, PlayStation 4 users were able to pre-download fully the coming update for Modern Warfare and Warzone of the update 1.28, which begs the question, when is that going to be live for all? And when is that content that comes along with it going to be coming to a live environment? Well, if the roadmap for Season 6's launch is any indication, we should be seeing that Season 6 reloaded update coming relatively soon, perhaps even what this update is, but the timing is still up in the air. Today, I want to briefly discuss with you the coming update that we'll see, when you should expect it to go live, and what all will be coming along with it that we know of right now. So that said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What are you hoping to see with the coming Season 6 Reloaded update? Any weapon or map in particular? Any war zone changes? And when do you think it will drop? Tonight? Next week? The following week? Let me know down below. As well, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and of course, Black Ops Cold War as we round into the second weekend of the beta, as well as the full launch of the game in just a month's time now. We'll keep you up to date with absolutely everything you need to know as we're on that road to 400,000 subscribers. And finally, a big thank you and shout out to PJ, Liam, Mitchell, and Joseph for showing some love and supporting the channel a little bit further by using code ESPRESSO in the Modern Warfare shop. If you end up using my creator code in the item shop, tweet me a picture. I'd love to share some love and shout out your support. But anyways, let's talk about this coming update. So let's start first with the update itself. Starting over the last 48 hours, reports of users being able to access version 1.28 of Modern Warfare and PlayStation 4 came in, even myself having that opportunity to do so as of earlier yesterday afternoon. Now come today, around the time that a playlist update would normally go live, one, we didn't see an update go live in Modern Warfare, but everybody was made available on PlayStation 4 to be able to pre-download that update. Curiously enough though, this wasn't available for anyone else, not Xbox One and not PC, and this has happened a few times in recent history, with preloads being available for larger update drops, most recently being the Season 6 launch update and then the Season 5 reloaded update. So the question becomes then, why do we have this 9GB download that is preloadable for PS4, and today an update that is stated as rolling out tonight at 11 p.m. PDT. The only logical answer that I can think of matches the other criteria that we've seen with other preloads, an overnight update and something close to an event. That being, it may be the Season 6 Reloaded update, just thrown out there to the wild. But admittedly, I'm a little bit confused on this because, granted, Games of Summer did not begin immediately with the launch of Season 5 Reloaded, but it came four days afterwards. We know that we need to have the event of the Haunting of Verdansk at the ready since that starts as of next Tuesday, the 20th. That's listed explicitly on the roadmap, but the timing of a Reloaded update for Season 6 right now seems so strange to me. It's smack dab in the middle of two beta weekends, and with a reloaded update likely being a larger content update and pull, as opposed to just say recent playlist updates, having that drop in a time period where in just about a day and a half time after it drops, becoming irrelevant for a few different days because a new game is going to take its place, that just doesn't really check out all that much. Marketing wise, that breaks just about every rule that Activision usually follows for letting their content have the limelight in designated increments. So this is a weird one to me. Unless we have the anomaly where a preload is available for PlayStation 4 for an entire week, this is definitely a strange situation. So point being, tonight we may actually have the launch of Season 6 Reloaded's update, or maybe not. But either way, of course, we'll keep you updated with either the latest happenings or if there is a full-blown update later on tonight and into tomorrow morning, we'll have an update video detailing all of the changes. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what we know is going to be coming with that mid-season update because it should be right around the corner here. Whether it is tonight or next week, we do have a lot of things to talk about and actually a decent bit that we already know of. Now, the roadmap details a few things here. This from Season 6 it gave us a little glimpse of what was coming in Season, but being that we usually get a reloaded update roadmap of its own, it likely isn't all of it. But we have things like the Haunting of Verdansk event, the Butterfly Knife, a few new weekly modes, and then what is listed as and more. Now, the Haunting of Verdansk is something that I would imagine is very similar to Games of Summer, if I were to guess, especially given its description. New limited time modes, rewards, and more. Likely challenging players to do something, perhaps, with trials again to earn items, new LTMs easily being across MP and Warzone, but also including a highlight that has kind of flown under the radar for those not specifically looking for this information, but Warzone at night. In the Season 6 trailer, we got a little glimpse of this, but that was about it. Now, this will play directly into an LTM we'll talk about in just a second, but Warzone at night will be Verdansk plunged into a nighttime setting, darkening the lands, but not necessarily to the point of NVG, like pitch black. 
but instead it will be probably similar to the kind of spooky zombie land that blackout was transformed into last year with blackout where you could still see clearly but it's just set at night with say a full moon so hopefully if you look up a mountain or something like that there won't be an incredible lens flare that blinds you and makes you lose a gunfight but also still visible enough that you can at least see that enemy on the hillside but this will be introducing probably a little meta shift if you ask me but also one thing that will definitely pop and be highlighted is that of tracer rounds which will be one not only look really cool but two will make them a dead giveaway for where your fire is coming from this was also commented on pre-season six at one point by a developer who mentioned that this season is going to be big for tracers in gameplay senses but also with new introductions that we have of more tracer rounds so much to the point where we even have an aug tracer early on in the battle pass which we haven't seen any before like that but warzone at night is going to be something that looks to come with this and maybe right at the beginning of this update as well but that's also probably going to play into the LTM then maybe as the standout of Warzone in the Haunting of Verdansk is that there is a designated zombies mode that is in the game files. Now, truth be told, there's not a whole ton that is known about how this will work. It may very well be like the zombies mode from Blackout in which is a sort of large scale infection based mode, but I'm incredibly excited to see how that plays out. It's also mentioned that of course we'll have those playlist updates that we can expect with this upcoming weeks, including Gun Game T TDM and HQ Firefight. HQ Firefight, not much is really known on that one, but Gun Game TDM, you can kind of infer a little bit on, and it was detailed a little bit in the Season 6 blog post, talking about how you'll basically have TDM, but everybody's weapons will cycle out at a given time. Now, there is also that butterfly knife that will be coming as well within this mid-season reloaded update, but that's just the melee weapon. But then it's also listed as and more, and this is where it becomes a little speculative, but is some stuff that we can probably infer. One thing on a more technical note that was actually noted by Infinity Ward today, if this update that we have of 1.28 is actually the mid-season reloaded update, this will allow for specific uninstall options for PC Modern Warfare owners. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have already had this functionality where you can uninstall different items that you don't necessarily want, like Campaign, like Spec Ops, but PC has not had that opportunity. If this is in fact the reloaded update, that's coming along with tonight's update confirmed by Infinity Ward. Another one is that Griggs is also an operator for this season as well. He's in the game files, he's been heard in the season 6 intro cinematic, and has been seen on some of the promo images. So maybe he's being introduced as well within this and more section. And finally, the last part that I'm really curious about is that of the AA-12, because we've talked about how this has been in the game files for a little bit of time now, since the beginning of season 5, but we haven't seen it come to fruition, we haven't seen it made public to anybody, but I'd be really surprised if the mid-season update brings along with it only a melee weapon. We haven't seen that happen at all within Modern Warfare, and with a weapon already still in those game files, it makes sense to introduce that, would it not? So now the big question mark just falls upon when will we see this here? Again, if we follow the patterns that preloads happen on PlayStation 4 before giant content drops, or larger content drops, maybe not necessarily giant, then that might mean that tonight is actually the night when Season 6 Reloaded's update rolls out. And then the event happens as of next week, once we're clear of the beta weekends for Black Ops Cold War. But right now, it's still the question mark. And so therefore, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think it's happening tonight? Do you think it's happening next week? Whatever it is, let me know. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. So don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and of course, Black Ops Cold War. We'll keep you up to date with absolutely anything you need to know. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected outside of YouTube. Probably live on both those. So if you guys want to start up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, links in the description below. Well, it's that another way. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.